poll is on the way right now. The options are Cannon Rush or Kill a Zerg Attack Wave. Cannon Rush seems like a very vague instruction. What exactly am I Cannon Rushing? And how am I doing it? Okay, I'm gonna start building workers because none of these don't involve workers. The captive Templar are kept just ahead. Ready your blades, warriors. All right, mod who held the pole, I do need a little bit of elaboration here so that I can understand. I am the voice. Carrigan will send the swarm. The only thing you don't like about the game. Pain, or the prologue is that uses the multiplayer Protoss, so switching between the prologue and the campaign throws you off. You are correct, and that is the reason that I didn't include it in Legacy of the Void Deathless, because the progression is really weird and funky, and it introduces units that do different things than the units that are introduced later, having the same skin. Oh, it's just Cannon Rush the Objectives. Okay. So I can build an army to get over there. That's good to know. I will do my best on that front then. I'm not sure exactly what units I want. I wonder if I can do this with like a large stalker count. I do like stalkers. Hmm. So go over to the stalkers, clear the way, and then bait things in with the stalkers Begin. into cannons Rush to forward. deal with the main objectives. Ready. Actually Ready. sounds like it could be last. a strat. I mean, <laughs> I'm stretching the definition of strat right here. But it actually sounds like it would be okay. <laughs> Static defense is definitely way worse though in this campaign. Not because, like, the battery and the monolith and the cannon are bad, but the ability to walk around is the best thing you can have on static defense, because it removes half of the limitation on static defense. Actually, it removes all the limitation, because it makes it not static and it doesn't mean it has to defend. Then again, I'm cannon rushing, so I'm not really static defending anyway. Very well. I'm not really a fan of the beginning of this mission simply because it's very, very passive. I would like a little bit, like, maybe move this objective, I don't know, into this room, and then have this area over here be lightly defended so that you can make progression, maybe get some item box pickups, that sort of thing. I think that would be a very nice way to design this mission so that you can move out with a small group of units and start getting things done. Not the Wraith. <laughs> It almost got me. They're just as strong in StarCraft 2 as StarCraft 1. I think the idea behind the mission is cool. Just requires maybe a little bit of tweaking. I'm going to push out after the swarm passes. I think that they should take the stop sign and there should be like a little Zerg crossing sign that just gets put right here. I think that'd be fun. Let's see how we, how well this works. Whoa. The bunker did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Come up here. Let's just get a proxy pylon. It's not going to be the cannon rush pylon. So what are people's general feelings on the prologue? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? I find the missions... I like mission two. I actually think mission two is very fun and unique. This mission is fine, in my opinion, but I'd be interested in hearing other people's opinion. Do Blink Stalkers just suck? 
I feel like I'm not doing the worst blinking in the world, and they are just getting mowed down. Do I have to restart? is uninteresting and doesn't tell you stuff you don't already know. That is a good point. It doesn't, like, hype up mystery or anything that would have been cool. Let our enemy know our fury. That was bad. I should have blinked there. I'm gonna get Colossus. I'm going to try to pull the people from this base into these cannons. Let our enemy know our fury. Of course they have a siege tank. I am here in the shadows. And I'm going to lose a bunch of workers here. Fun, 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 fun. Yeah, I think I made a really big mistake by going on stalkers. Please just get blank. Well, I wasted a bunch of money on cannons across the map, so I didn't have anything to defend. Which kind of sucks. I'm going to have to dive that... But there's a bunker there, too. How do I cannon rush anything here, guys? They, they're just bunkers and siege tanks. Get him. I am here in the shadow. Be nice to Tails. Are we playing Sonic the Hedgehog now? We I am here in the shadows. <laughs> I'm getting wrecked. Let's pull these guys into the cannons. Maybe that's what I can do. The Zerg forces will move soon. We must be cautious. Tear apart their reactor. Come on. The Queen of Blades demands it. There we go. Oh, they still got Hellbats. I'll finish it off with a cannon. Just for you, viewer. I'm heading back home because I know for a fact they're going to come to attack me. I feel it. I can make a sentry for the shield restore. I should be able to get a good bunch of money over here that'll help. The fact that I lost a bunch of stuff already. I knew it. I knew this was coming. Are they 2-2? Two, two? They're 2-1. Two, they killed the cannon. This is really hard. I'm not exactly sure how to do it because the challenge is so nebulous and vague. And they killed the pylon. Why does an auto turret last so long? It's not even a third of the way expired.
I have one, one, one. It's the best I can get. We are a tide of death Colossus are on the way. Build the cannon. Wait, can you blink past this? Very well. No, okay, so this whole area is unblinkable until you destroy the objective. The of the Darn. We are one with Thought we were gonna find another skip. They learned from their mistakes. This is going to give me a bunch of zealots as well, which will be nice. I'm going to try getting to Zealot Archon Stalker Colossus. Stimpak on Reapers? Did Reapers ever have Stimpak? They never did in the release version of the game. Alright, we got naked zealots. There we go. Now the money situation is doing a lot better. I'm afraid that they're going to attack me soon, so I'm going to pull back and try to deal with whatever attack they send. <laughs> I saw this thing and I was like, I knew it, they attacked me again. With what the heck is it? <laughs> <laughs> the good old mineral mine bot. I bet they attack at... Oh, here it is. I knew it. Got him. Uh, I think this is fine. This is the second wave. Truly formidable. I am the voice of the Where's my probe? Is he dead? Yeah, he died. Grab another one. I, am I gotta blast through all this and get to the next objective area. Hopefully without losing too much. I really want that base. How long do you have on this mission? Does anybody know? Just a question. On Brutal, is it like I hope it's like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 42 minutes, something long. Because I'm 17 minutes in and I am not even close to beating this mission. <laughs> Especially if I have to get a probe over to each of the objectives to cannon rush it. I mean, I know you can make the mission go on forever if you're being cheeky and kill Kerrigan. But I hope that's not what I have to do. Because we did that in Extermination Edition. I'm going to wait on this Colossus. How do I want to cannon rush this area? That's going to be tough. But it's also going to be lucrative because they have the base. I need to snipe the Colossus first. That's the most important part. Er, the, t the siege tank. <laughs> and they have defenders over there. They can be dealt with by cannons. I'm just going to clear the base first and start making a bunch of workers. I wonder if I could... Sneak that right there. Oh, they saw him. This isn't working at all. Wait, did they kill their own guys? I don't even care. Base is under attack. I see 
Gotta pull back. This guy doesn't even know to target the probe. What a loser. It's Cannon Rush 101, nude. Nude. Nerd. Not nude. He's probably wearing clothes under his marine suit. Now we gotta kill the orbital. The Zelts are often out of their cage on this mission. It's just that, you know, blizzard polish that we're all used to. Alright, we're gonna get those cannons up. Objective has been cannon rushed, to the best of my ability. I am sure that I just don't call people nude randomly when I'm trying to laugh at them for not defending cannon rushes properly. Oh gosh, it's been 22 minutes. This base is like barely even worth it. Minions, go forth. I guess it's good for the gas, so I can build a bunch of Archons. Your time is running short, Kerrigan, you know as well as I that Amon lives. Slaying his hybrid is a meaningless act. We must awaken the Zelnaga. I find that funny that te er, Zeratul's like, fighting his hybrid is a meaningless act, and then all of Legacy of the Void is just fighting Amon's hybrid over and over and over for eternity, and it turns out to not be a meaningless act. I don't know, Zeratul. I don't think the Zealots were always outside of their cage. Like, a patch happened at some point, and they broke. And then they've just been outside ever since. The Raven Scar mission doesn't even make that much sense, right? Like, you go to fight the birthing chambers or whatever for the hybrid, and then there's no other hybrid for the rest of all time. There should still be hybrid to fight on the final mission, because they're more impressive than anything else. It's weird that there's not. There's still adults if you kill all the babies. Unless hybrid have really short lifespans, which which would be which would be weird, considering they're made up of two organisms that have really really long lifespans. Yeah, and they have just one factory, of course. So I'm gonna have to start paying attention to how good Mobius is doing. It looks like the first attack didn't really do much. It killed some sandbags, but sandbags aren't people. I think that I have one or two more attacks remaining. Yeah, this is going to do a lot. Are they going to be able to keep this PF alive? That's the real question. All right, Mobius, good. I think Mobius can hold on one more time. This is... I have no, like, data or anything to back up this feeling. Yeah, I think actually you're correct that very distinctly in StarCraft 1 in the secret mission, Duran tells Zeratul that he has birthing chambers everywhere across the sector or the galaxy. I don't remember which he uses. We're going to get to that mission either probably not the coming Wednesday, but the one after that while I play Mass Recall and we'll be able to actually check. Because I believe that that is the mission, the very first mission that Amon is referenced as a character is in the secret mission of StarCraft 1. On many other worlds. Yeah. No, photo loss, that is not correct. They, uh, Narud very distinctly references that he has a master. And given that we know that that master is uh, Amon, it's pretty easy to infer that that's who he's talking about. I remember this because I made a post on Reddit, not a post on Reddit, I replied to a post on Reddit a while ago 
like a year ago that was someone basically saying that the hybrid was randomly thrown into StarCraft 2 and was a dumb plot line that was unlike anything that Brood War would ever come up with. And then I quoted the secret mission and was like, hey bud, uh, sorry to burst your bubble. You cannot like it, but that doesn't mean that it didn't come up and oh my goodness. Holy crap. Okay, I need to head over and fight Mobius. Or right, go to Mobius's base and save this. This is bad. Okay, we need to A-move through all of this and then cannon rush the last objective. Careful. If this probe dies, I dies. Okay, everything is distracted, I think. I'm gonna quick save right here. Oh no, she's going. They killed the probe. Are you kidding? Why do they keep dropping auto turrets on my probes? I hate ravens, guys. They're so brutal. Okay, I'm pulling back, and I'm gonna try to fight Kerrigan. I think I have to. It's not a good strat. At all. Eliminate Mobius Core. This facility will fall before the swarm. No, no. Um. Crap. Did it break their AI? No, it didn't. Has Mobius rebuilt at all? No. Okay. Uh, hmm. That's not good. I can't force field. I have to pull everything back. I have to ignore the hybrid wave. Yeah, let's see if I can leash the hybrid into the Zerg wave. That might be a good idea. Make them fight each other. Eliminate Mobius Core. This facility will fall before the swarm. I'm not sure that I have enough time to kite properly. I'm here in the shadows. You require my skills. We move unseen. Very well. Here, we're gonna try to kite them into the final enemy wave. This is the best that I got. <laughs> Alright, where's the probe? Oh no, the Zerg is gonna crush it! Ah, oh, crap. Use your auto turrets, loser! Well. Uh, I don't think it counts if I don't cannon rush it, so... Yeah, they can kill it. That's one of the easy ways to finish the mission. I thought that their defense force would do a little bit better. I'm just pulling everything back ASAP. I'm going to try to get a good position against the Zerg and do as much damage as I can. But Jumper Banes are really, really good, so I'm dead. Hmm. What do I do here? Target down the aberrations, I guess. Probes fight. I... I don't know. This sucks. Oh, Colossus. Build what I can. I 
All I had to do was kill the aber- Oh, no, come back. Wait. Now we have to catch them. You're not even done attacking this time. Hmm. What does this save? Oh, that's so long ago. I'm going to try one more time with this save and see if I can figure something out. I'm going to try moving up to Mobius's area. Maybe that'll make the hybrid and them run into each other. Okay, pull back. Up here. For an attack. Warriors, stay clear of the Zerg's path. Eliminate Mobius Core. This facility will fall before the swarm. Get on the high ground. Zelt's over here. Is the void. I am the voice of the eclipse. Most of the banelings are gone. So I'm gonna split my forces, try to deal with the banes. Try to kite some of these guys away while we deal with the rest. That didn't work. Wow. Well, maybe this is a small enough group that it will die to the defenders over here. Because it's way smaller than the previous one. Especially if I can take out some of the stuff on the way. Yeah, look at that. This is going to work. But now Mobius Core is going to win too hard. I don't think these are going to be able to win. We'll see. Well, that was the best idea I've had so far, but that's not saying much. I'm going to try to warp in one more group. If I can pull them apart, that's great. Actually, it's time to go. Oh, the Thor, though! Amon will not have his army as long as I nope. live. Somehow this little expenditure has just been brutally difficult. Because I have no money at the beginning of the game. I think I'm going to try one last time, and then if I have to, I'll go back to that old save. But I really don't want to. Yeah, that's a good idea. So... He's up here. For an attack. Warriors, stay clear of the Zerg's path. See if I can do it. The problem is that they are already pulled onto me, which makes Eliminate Mobius Core. This facility will fall before the swarm. So we get these guys to go over here. We move unseen. We are one. Oh, vile roaches! Pull them into the defenders and then have me flank them. So that they can't win. No. Guys, you're killing too quickly. You're too strong. Oh no. Okay, the Zerglings pulled back. Come on! Ugh. Are you kidding? I <laughs> freaking Zergling like one stayed behind and decided to kill it, and the Raven didn't drop a point defense or not a point defense drone, a auto turret. Yeah, that is the correct strat. That is definitely the correct strat. It's a very flat spaceship. But man, that's frustrating. My voice 
Wait, what? Ah, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, I gotta reload that save. I'm really sorry, guys. Load. Quick save. for an attack. Warriors, stay clear of the Zerg's path. Our pylon is under attack. Up the ramp. Eliminate Mobius core. This facility will fall before the swarm. Be careful. What? Uh, that's not going to be good. They just stopped fighting. They gave up to go kill me. Huh. I think that's good. Weird, but good. Alright, cool. Uh, Mobius... I don't know what just happened there. But the game decided that I needed a mulligan. I need to not die to this raven. Yeah, this is SM7B. If the Zerg attacks again, I'm gonna cry. They're just barely gonna get to the reactor and kill it. I'm gonna kite. We're going this way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> 